Hello, and welcome to Max and Nick's Two Minute Tips on Printing. I'm Max. And I'm Nick. Today, our topic is 8-bit versus 16-bit images. Ugh, oh, this one, all right. Max, what would you like to be, 8-bit or 16-bit? I'll be 8-bit. Then I'll be 16. Okay. As an 8-bit image, I get 256 levels of gradation per color. And of course, three colors, red, green, and blue. So if I take 256 times 256 times 256, means I have access to about 16.7 million possible colors. That's it? Well, as a 16-bit image, I have 65,536 levels of gradation per color and the same three channels as you. And if I take 65,536 times 65,536 times 65,536, I get a staggering 281 trillion possible colors to work with. All right, that is an incredibly large number. But can humans even detect my 16.7 million colors? Well, no. What? Really? And why are we wasting time talking about this? Well, as it turns out, bit depth is not as important for color as much as it is for the smoothness in your gradations, especially if you have to do a lot of editing. Take a look at what I mean. Here's the same gradation image that has gone through the same amount of edits, but one is 8-bit and one is 16-bit. Do you see the difference? Yeah, wow, actually that's pretty dramatic. But that's just solid colors. Will we even notice those kinds of differences in a photo? Yes, let's take a closer look at these two images here. Max, can you see any differences between the quality of these two images? Oh yeah, well, I see there's not a lot of detail in these shadowy areas here. And I also notice there's a lot of banding in the sky. How would I get a high quality file to start with to avoid these kind of issues? Well, start with setting your camera to capturing in camera raw format. Then, once you bring it into Lightroom, Photoshop, or Digital Photo Professional, you can process in the raw module as 16-bit or 8-bit. You want to start in the highest file format and bit depth. Later, you can downsize if needed. Okay, got it. Be sure to follow Canon on Twitter at CanonUSA Pro and find us on Facebook at CanonUSA. And of course, check back for more Max and Nick's tips.